Okay, so my name is Barry Court, K-O-R-T. I began my professional career at the University of Nebraska in the 1960s, graduated in electrical engineering. I was hired by Bell Telephone Laboratories in 1968, worked in network planning there for 20 years. Bell Labs sent me back to graduate school at Stanford where I uh, earned a master's and a PhD in systems theory. Stayed there until they broke up the Bell system in the 80s, came up here to Boston, worked for about three years at MITRE, federally funded research and development center. Left there, went over to BBN, Bolt, Brannick and Newman, the little company that uh, developed the internet, what was called the ARPANET back at that time. Stayed there for about 10 years. Around 2000, some colleagues of mine uh, thought that the work I'd been doing on uh, the theory of emotions and learning uh, was suitable for an NSF grant, National Science Foundation, so they wrote up a grant and we got funded. I've been here at the Museum of Science for 25 years, ever since I moved up to Boston, volunteering every week in the Discovery Centers. So a few years ago, in August, which is a very slow month, people are on vacation, nothing's happening, it occurred to me that um, there might be an article on Wikipedia about affective computing, which is the subject matter that the group at MIT was working on. So I thought, oh, let me check it out and see if there's an article. Sure enough, there's an article on affective computing. And it's a pretty good article, it's, it's, it's reasonably correct. And I noticed that it mentioned the head of the group at MIT who founded the field of affective computing. I said, oh, it's, it's a blue link, which means that there's a biography. I said, oh, I didn't know that Professor Brooke Carter had a biography. So I clicked on it and I looked at it and I go, wait a minute, this isn't her biography. I've known Professor Burkhart for 25 years and I don't know, don't know what this is about. Come to discover there was a, a, a clique of editors um, that were controlling a bunch of articles, including this one on, on the, uh, this MIT professor, and they were putting stuff in it that had nothing to do with her, you know, her life story or, or her background. It was just totally baloney, and I tried to correct it, and I got into a big fight with these guys, and within three weeks, this click kicked me off of Wikipedia for trying to correct errors in, in the biography. 